Hey guys, it's Lauren Geraldo and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Lauren Geraldo. Hello. Hey guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. It's been a very exciting time for you because you're on your first ever headline tour. Also your first time in Toronto. I made that mistake and I thought it was my first time in Toronto. Little did I know I was corrected today. I had been okay. here before. But I had barely, I was here for like a day and I <laughs> did the tower and it was great. Awesome. Yeah. So you're enjoying everything so far. How's the headline tour treating you? It's great and I'm really enjoying Toronto. I really want to come here more so I'm going to find excuses to do that. It's great. <laughs> For this tour, you've been posting some amazing outfits that you've had for the stage, but you've been in some more sporty outfits as well. Yes. If you had to pick your favorite tour outfit for this tour, which would that be? The favorite, so far, my favorite one is the red leather, like, I don't know if it's a bra or just like a really tiny shirt, and <laughs> the, the, the Only Lovers red jacket with the fringe. I loved that. Um, but there's also another really good one, but it has not come yet. Okay. Yeah. Is it making an appearance tonight, or is it further It's making down? a little cameo in NYC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing I have to ask fashion-wise is about your shoes, because you post so many photos. You have, like, a, a ridiculous collection. I, I really, really like shoes. Um, <laughs> yeah, today I've been having some difficulties. These boots, every time I walk, they really fall to the ground. It's very awkward, but usually my shoes don't fail me. How many would you say you have? At this point? Uh, oh, uh, a lot. I don't know a number. I don't know. <laughs> it's that many. Yeah, <laughs> no, not that much, but like a lot. Well, on the music front, also exciting because Only Lovers is officially out. Yes. How does that feel? This is the first out, anybody's so ever heard. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, it was really exciting to release it. I was definitely really apprehensive releasing my first song because I was like, it has to be right. Like, I don't know, it's the first time I'm ever releasing something, but I'm really happy that I released it. Um, I'm really happy to release more music on my tour. I'm uh, singing songs that aren't out yet, so out yet. <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm singing more songs that aren't out yet, so it's it's been fun. And this is taken from a debut EP as well. So what was it like putting that together? Were there any challenges along the way? Or? Yeah, I mean, just the whole thing is challenging, but in a good way. It's fun challenges, and then you overcome them, and it's great. Well, you have this very cool, sultry tone to your voice. So when did you first find out or sing and you're like, wow, I have a pretty badass thing going for me? <laughs> um, I grew up singing and acting. I did musical theater since I was really young. I was Annie. So maybe maybe singing uh, those Annie <laughs> songs, I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really just, I've, I've always loved singing. Yeah. Well, before the EP was even announced, you were putting out some really great covers. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about Annie. I was like, oh, yeah, no. I was really putting out some great musicals. <laughs> or, <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember the first song you ever put your spin on? Um, yeah, it was Whiskey, um, and I have a lot of nostalgia with that song because it's where I met my producer who ended up producing the song that was Only Lovers, or is Only Lovers, and um, that's how I met him, and I love him, and I perform it on tour because I have such fond memories with that song. If you could have any artist put their spin on one of your tracks, who would you love to see do so? Um, Beyonce for exposure. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> probably Ariana, just because I love her so much. Okay. Yeah. I could see that, actually. It's very, going very well. Yeah, I love her. I really want to go to her Dangerous Woman tour. Too busy with mine. I mean... <laughs> You're also hosting your own web series, which is Lady Bits, yeah. and it's been so interesting to watch. You're just so open with everybody who's viewing it. So what's it been like, instead of singing in front of everybody, kind of just pouring your heart out on a bunch of really serious topics? Uh, Lady Bits is awesome to film. I felt super empowered after I filmed it because we talked about a lot of things that, you know, older me wouldn't be so comfortable talking about, but through filming that show and through really realizing the things that I'm talking about, I realized that there's no reason why I shouldn't be open with those things because a lot of them are stigmatized for no reason and a lot of them are things that men can comfortably talk about all the time and it's like, okay, he's so cool. And like if a woman does it, it's like, damn, she's edgy. But I, I really don't think I'm edgy. I think I'm just living my normal life with just like talking about it openly, which is not as common for women, but I love it, so it's been it's been really cool. People are absolutely loving it, and I think one of the Thanks. things they relate to the most is you said, nobody can define who you are, it's all up to you, you can make yourself who you want to be, and if they decide to tell you otherwise, they can go fuck themselves. Yes, they can go <laughs> fuck themselves. That was the quote I took away from that episode, like, that is an amazing here quote. I was scared, I sent Oh no, myself. say whatever you want, <laughs> whatever you want. I'm just really going to get this one off my chest, fuck, and I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> Can you just elaborate a little bit more on that for all the people who are viewing? Yeah, so um, it's my show called Lady Bits, and I talk about a lot of issues with gender inequality and social differences that women and men have to deal with. And um, just because I, I feel like women have it a little harder, whether it be the choices of clothing that women decide to wear and then dealing with the judgment with that. I go through that every single day. Um, or whether it's just literally any single thing in my life. 
I used to care or, and I used to be conscious of, oh, I'm, I really don't want to offend anybody or I really don't want to be so crazy talking about like things that weren't even crazy or I don't want to show too much cleavage and then I really just stopped caring and ever since I've become much happier and I've just been living my true self and my true life and I'm, I, I, I'm living it up. I think it's great. So I'm just trying to encourage other people to live their true self, whether that be not doing a ton of things, doing a ton of, just being whatever it is you want to be and not really caring about outside perspectives or point of views and outside perspectives and point of views that are skewed towards, you know, males to make their lives easier. That's an amazing scary. message. <laughs> I just want to do a little quick fire round with you, so say whatever comes to mind first. All right, I love this. All right, so since we cleared the barrier, our favorite swear word? Fuck. Where would you love to perform that you've yet to? Columbia. What's the wallpaper on your phone? Please, I hope it's not me. I really <laughs> hope it's not my face. Uh, it's just like the Apple, uh, well, there's so many, many Instagram notifications. notifications. <laughs> um, it's like the, this Apple star galaxy. What's Real one the, funky. <laughs> what's one of the coolest things a fan's given you? I got a three and a half year in the making scrapbook at my last stop in Chicago, and it wow. was great. We read it on the plane, <laughs> and uh, it was really cute. She made me a lot of like artwork on canvases. She made me a bracelet. That's amazing. Huge. We realized afterwards that we really just checked it through TSA without really checking what was in it. So, but nothing was in it bad. But that would have been real awkward That's if she good. like stuck a joint in there and then <laughs> I went through TSA like. like so I don't know. I, re I really don't know how that got yeah, in there. It would have, yeah, it really would have been <laughs> awkward, but nothing, nothing was in there. Who would you love to still see live that you have yet to? I would love to see Rihanna live. Apparently, I've seen her live. My manager told me that, but I really think I was getting popcorn upstairs. I really don't think I was there for the... <laughs> Because we were at an award show and she did perform there, but I didn't see it, so I, th I really think I was prioritizing food at the time. Um, <laughs> so I really want to see Rihanna live. Um, I've seen Lady Gaga live, but I would do it again. Limitlessly, so yeah. And just to wrap everything up, is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing? Um, follow me on Twitter. No, I'm kidding. Um, be yourselves. Don't care about what other people tell you. And if it feels right, then it is right. Use that in like all aspects of your life. That's something that I live by. And you know, I try to disregard what people tell me is wrong or right. And then if I'm doing something and I love it and it feels so like right, I'm like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is not an accident. That this feels great. So yeah. Those are a beautiful parting words. Just thank oh, you so much for joining me today. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Your yeah. highlight's bomb, by the way. <laughs> Why, thank you. It's killing it. <laughs> and remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.